All right, so we're gonna start off the day with just a nice, peaceful outdoors meal. Just sitting in this bootlegged gazebo in my backyard. We have some oatmeal with some blueberries that my mom caught herself in some wild, organic blueberry farm somewhere. We got some meatballs, some vegetables, an apple, and two scoops of whey. So, I'm just gonna sit out here. I'm just gonna enjoy this breakfast slash first meal in peace in nature and then um we're gonna go do other stuff <laughs> oh shit <laughs> this striker get painted yeah does he get what did he get painted why is he brown yeah, he's, he's always been brown remember my room is down here <laughs> my bed right here Dude, what I is this? Cereal bowls down right there. Wait, what? you don't live here anymore? You live in Miami? I live in Miami, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know that? Yeah, you did. Wait, did you, did you like rent like a Lamborghini for a day and then a Ferrari yeah. the next day? Yeah. <laughs> Air mattress back here. Yeah, who's gonna be who's gonna be sleeping on there with you tomorrow? Um, <laughs> mom, do you have any sweatpants in there? <coughs> yeah, you're right. I feel like I have high blood pressure. Do you have any sweatpants I can borrow? I'll be up there. Dude, just go for, just me. just go flannel and jeans. No. Come on, we can get I you an axe boots. too. I only have like Yeezys. Like you can't. I, if I had some boots on, I would. Dude, Walmart's got some boots. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell them that you fucking we both went to Walmart and got flannels? <laughs> yeah, we're uh <laughs> flannel gang. We're coming out with the flannel line. Dude, these, yeah. They're like way too big. It's literally two XL. But like, is it like? I feel. I feel like. Oh yeah, our arm flannel is supposed to be nice, big and loose. No, big and, XL. and loose. But I'm saying like, it's, but this is like huge. Like, do you think this is like stupid? Do I look stupid in it? They try mine. Mine's a regular XL. <laughs> I mean, this obviously fits better. Like that fits perfect. Well, I like this color. I'm not going. I don't want to go back to Walmart, dude. No. Does this smell? No. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. Yo, why does your house look all 2.0? <laughs> it's got new floors. Got a new this, new a little this, new that. A couple new dogs. Oh, it's completely. We did fully redo. We redid the house. It's kind of crazy because literally, probably the last time you filmed in here, everything was so different. Yo, I don't wanna go fucking Walmart, dude. Yeah, you compete in any federations or are you going straight to the IFBB? IFBB. No USAPL, no IPF, USAPL, nothing? Yeah. No, but you looked up Dan Green and all that, what yeah, happened? Dan, well, Dan Green is not in the USAPL, USPA, or some shit like that. IFBB is what you think, dude. So you wanna be like, so, so you wanna be, so you wanna be exactly like Jeremy Buendia is what you're saying? I wanna be like Jeremy Buendia, mainly for the uh, personality traits. You after the spot, you wanna go to rock bottom, test our blood pressure, see who's healthier? Yeah, literally not natural. I have better blood pressure than you. <laughs> <coughs> you alright? You remember that house? I remember that house. A bunch of memories of that house. Yo, where are you going right now? What? We're not going to the spot. Oh shit, I missed the spot. Dude, I, I, I yeah, yeah, you're going to go to Walmart. <laughs> I'm staying in the car. Yeah, you want to start off with some uh, way to pull ups? <laughs> yeah, you can't be looking that serious. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir. Excuse me. Alright, we're going to start off with some way to pull ups. And then, uh, tell them they don't care. We're starting out with lap pull downs. No, we're not. We're starting with way to pull ups. Yo, let's start out with lap pull downs so we go really heavy. Because think about it, you never start on lap pull downs. Yeah, because you start with pull ups because they're better. Well, no, pull ups, I mean, yeah, pull ups probably are overall better. See, I like yeah, overall I mean, better not things. Not necessarily. I mean, you could you could probably go. Actually, I don't know. Yeah. I know, Jer I, I know you and Jeremy one day like to do like lap pull downs in your little isolations, but <laughs> we, 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 we like to wear our flannels and keep it nice and honest and do way to pull up. Little carbs for the gym, a little bit of fat. Yo, what are you eating there on your prep, big man? I just have a chicken sandwich with like jerk, like a Jamaican jerk, some avocado, some onions. Some is, all that, is all that gluten going to win you your pro card? Yeah. Here. your box. I'm gonna eat this in the car. Yeah. Still gotta drive home, handle some business. You're gonna break my car. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna whip out of here. And fuck yeah, you have a hard time breathing. No, well, I'm sick, dude. <laughs> I literally have fucking. <laughs> I have like a sinus infection or something. Yeah, we should take our blood pressure at rock bottom. Huh? What? Whoa, whoa. Tyler Hagen Knights. Ticonderoga Knights. Tyler Nights, baby. Oh. Dude, this car does feel so fast compared to like my truck, but in reality, it's like not actually a fast vehicle. Wait, James, can we get the doctor, the doctor thing on the arm measurement, blood pressure? Well, you yeah. want to measure blood 
I want to measure my blood pressure. I am healthy. Are you sure it's like you're supposed to like do it over that? I feel like you're supposed Fine. to. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Better nothing. I need to get one of these machines. Gives heart rate to about to be 97. Premature death. Uh, oh! oh! What a seven pulse. 132 over 90. <laughs> We're getting real tight there, 218. Whoa, that's a healthy young man. Okay. Cue the I'm happy music. This is 20 bucks. Whoa, you're gonna take a big heaping scoop? How much caffeine's in there? See, a lot of people think that it's 150, right? But it's not true. Okay. There's more about 300, 350 in there. Whoa, oh my god. No, I'm kidding. Whoa. <laughs> smells good. It's air sip. Well, yeah, I don't want your, I don't want your fucking germs. It's air sip. And, yeah, and, and tell me how great it tastes. And by the way, I hate your beer too. Just tell me how good it tastes. Give it back. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. All right, so we got this. Um, you why did you do no deadlifts? Yeah, I don't. What, what do you mean? Because I don't have any duct tape for my lower back or any Advil, so I just, I just went straight to the. Uh, back in the day, Dave used to take like 800 to 1,000 milligrams of Advil <laughs> before the gym, so. No yeah, more duct tape. it was. Um, it was a bad situation, but yeah. So this pull day is uh, sponsored by nine dollar Walmart flannels. We don't. We actually don't work with Gymshark at all anymore. We we decided oh to gosh. partner up with a uh, uh, with a uh, Walmart flannel. Walmart flannel brand, yeah. Obviously, kid in there. But, I got um, Dave on the flannel grind. By the way, I want to point that out. Yeah, I, I think it was like yesterday. We just like before the gym. Oh, let's just get some white beaters and flannels at a uh, Walmart. So yeah, basically now you guys are never gonna see me without a flannel, but. Yeah, so I mean, we're doing some weighted pull-ups. I got 45 pounds strapped to me right here. And then when Dylan goes, he doesn't have anything strapped to him. It's just all equally dispersed throughout his body <laughs> via visceral body fat, which is a rough equivalent of 65 pounds. So, he, so uh, I had like a 65-pound weight on my body while I was doing yeah, this. Yo, why are you like really fat and stuff? You used to look, you were like, you like, I know, like I mean, lean and everything. What happened? I was, I think my sh at my show, I weighed 176 pounds when I competed like three months ago. Now I'm about 210 pounds and... I wanted to do a lean bulk, but it just pretty much it just it is. What is. I, I thought you were gonna, you know, nice clean like reverse yeah, well, diet after is, your show. I you, you just went to Jamaica and just ate animals. And ate I went life. to Jamaica and basically ate a quarter of the population <laughs> worth of food. And yeah, I mean, so it is what it is. I gained twenty five pounds in a week, etc. Didn't want to do a cut. Wanted to gain some muscle after the next show. Not gonna happen again. You fucking, you're gonna hear this after the next show. It is what it is. I'm just a big man. I'm just a big man. I'm just supposed to be a thicker guy. It is what it is. But also, I want to say this. So we did pull-ups, and then I always like to do like a set or two of assisted pull-ups after I do regular pull-ups because I feel like I just feel it massively in my lats when I do do the assisted pull-ups. Dave actually did a set here. I feel like you haven't done assisted pull-ups ever yeah, in your it, life. Th this felt strange. It was like I just went nice and slow, kind of feel that contraction. Yeah, you that, feel uh, it really good. It's a really good contraction. Definitely try it out for sure, doing the assisted pull-ups like after you do a few sets of regular. Yeah, I mean – you guys are gonna see any type of like a horizontal row. I, I get I get my horizontals, verticals like flip flop lately. But any movement where I'm essentially rowing, you see that it's either supported. Like I did dumbbell rows at the end that I didn't film, but that's obviously supported because your arms there. We did like T bar rows or whatever it's called. Like yeah, right here, that's pretty much supporting Chest my lower back. Because like right now, <coughs> like there's just simply due to my MRI or so, it's no deadlifting, like no barbell rows. It's just. I still have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do for my rehab protocol for my back, but this whole workout is just lower back. Friendly. As you can see, there was two plates in the bar when Dave was gone. That was actually and um, then, um, my Sony camera as a defect. Now there's, a there's three profile. plates and a 25 on the bar, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't have any duct tape for my back, dude. It's fine. Dude, we're doing chest supported, bro. There's no, you don't Whoa. need any duct tape. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Um, I mean... So yeah, we're just like Dude, see, how are you tall enough to be able to just <laughs> I, I can't put my stand. feet. I can't put my feet on the thing because then literally my hips and my waist. Dude, the weight was over. like about to hit the ground too. Oh my gosh. That's an unfortunate Dude. range of motion. Holy God. shit. Dude, how many damn sets did you put in here of us doing this? I don't know. I don't think I've ever done this exercise on my channel. I Yo, if I see one comment of people talking about half reps, I don't want to hear about it. I mean, dude, the half has been working for you and stuff. Yeah, they've been working for me. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, half reps. <laughs> half reps are gonna get me a pro card. Look at this full range of motion right here. So that's full range of motion, a bunch of number two pencils. <laughs> some number two pencils picking some, some erasers up. Some Ticonderoga Dixon 2.0 pencils right there. Who says Ticonderoga? <laughs> like that's, yeah, that's. You know the fact, you remember the yeah. pencils Leon But it's just ones? number two. Like, why do you have to bring it to Ticonderoga? I don't know. And then we did these super weird, like I never really do these super close like this, but Dave suggested it. And um, so we just decided this is what we're going to do next, some close grip. Yeah, I noticed even and for me, what, what I'm doing, um, either lap pull downs, pull ups, or you know, close grip lap pull downs here, even that aggravates my back unless <laughs> I specifically like tighten my core and not allow any arching or like hyper extension. Is that why you did 100 pounds? Yeah, you know, it's just in the clean, you know, nice, humble 100 pounds. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I haven't really been training that much in the past month just from being just literally chronically like sick and just feeling terrible. So, looking at in this past week, I've actually started to feel, you know, how I'm supposed to again, which is great. So training has. That's a big lab resumed. right there. That is a, a medium to large size lab right there. That's, <laughs> damn. That's a water buffalo right there. Yeah, how, how do you feel being home training on the gym? What that, what's that like? It's pretty surreal. It is, it, like, because I think about it all the time. Like, I do miss Island, like, a lot. Like, sometimes I'll be training. I'm like, damn, like, I miss it, man. I mean, like, your home gym, the gym you first kind of start training at, I feel like is a gym that you'll never kind of forget or, like, you know, not want to go back to. Yeah, I mean, it's just hard. people ask me, oh, what are you training at the most? Till and until it's on, whatever, right? And like, for example, I can make an argument that Attilus is objectively a better gym in terms of they have more equipment, better equipment, better lighting, better color scheme, blah, 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 blah. But something about Island, it has a certain nostalgic fact that that's where we grew all our muscle. That's where we were. When we were like, that's where we were put, we were put, we were putting an hour. That's where we put the hours in, like deadlifting for literally three and a half hours, nine sets of deadlifts. Literally, like, I mean, it's twenty four seven. You got the ritual at rock bottom. There's just something about it. That's just, it's just how it's supposed to be. Like all the gym is just the gym. Yeah. 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 All right, voiceover is about to end. Best Hodgson's impression. Go. Yeah. It's still going though. That's the awkward part. I'll just, I'll just cut it there and I'll just chop it. <laughs> yeah, Steve, I'm all about that telephone. Like it now. just popped up. Is that how fucking skin cancer works? It's just fucking no, a brew. Like, like, like I used to have skin cancer. It got cut out of my back. You're a pussy. James, what's the metaphysical orientation of the ether? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a valid question. <laughs> Steve? <laughs> South. Always south. I just thought it was always in a superposition. I don't know. <laughs> Quantum superposition? Are we are we gonna bring this uh, out? Oh no. Oh man. Steve, Steve has something against that fucking quantum yeah. superposition now. The cat cannot be alive or dead. If the cat drinks the poison, it's fucking dead. You can't Actually, be in two the, places at once. It's, a, it's the the re- supposed, to, supposed, to, supposed, to, supposed to be to break the capsule. Yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to be the isotopes yeah. break the capsule, but they're right. saying that the isotopes are in two states at once. But it's right. not how it works because. I understand that they they're theorizing that it's that way, and I looked. At, I've been looking at the math more and more lately because this guy and James English may be freaking like. It's a thought experiment, though. It's not really. A, a it's not. I know, but that's the thing. I, th- I think it's kind of absurd that people are taking it as literal, uh, yeah, just literal just science. Ask the cat. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Exactly. Seriously. If you ask the cat, it's yeah, it's like it's the same thing. Does if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? And then no one's there. It's, yeah. If somebody doesn't call you, are they trying to call you? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Listen, if, if you have, if, um, let's see, what was it? Oh, yeah, if a man's in the woods and there's no women around, is he really still wrong? <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's great, that's great, I'm gonna have to use that, that's really good. Gotta give James royalties. I've been giving James my royalties lately, I've been getting bad karma. <laughs> yeah, you wanna play pool? Yeah, I'm down. Come on now, just break it up. Take it apart, get a solid in, because I want the stripes. Put, put it to pieces. You got a solid in. And just hit that yellow one in. Don't think too much about it, just aim and put it in the pocket. Put it in the pocket. Shoot it, oh you fucked up. <coughs> I bet you're not. Yeah, I'm gonna put the orange right there. And it's gonna be super gentle. Put this red in. That's a hard one. (laughs) 
a little shit shot. Shit me contact. That was a shit shot. That yeah, was a pretty bad shot. Get that yellow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. What kind of angle is that? What, what are you doing? <laughs> nah, it's, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Yeah. Oh. You're right there. Stop. You ain't gonna win this blood pressure one up some shit. We're each about three readings in. I forget what the score is, but this is gonna be a monumental <laughs> measurement for Dylan. All right, so the number didn't shoot up that high. It's only 150. He's breathing. He went into a Kundalini meditation for a straight hour sitting on this couch, tapping into his uh, inner child, resting all his vital signs. And then he drank some uh, magnesium citrate powder drink, you know, which really, you know, relaxes, dilates the blood vessels. And now he's taking his measurement. And we have 122 over 80, virtually immaculate, two numbers away from being perfect on the systolic. But the resting heart rate's little on the you don't, not so spiritually. You hate to see it, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be high. I just I felt my heart flex. <laughs> no, don't don't read it. I'm.